Hello everyone. So now we will see the time constant of all the circuit. So this will be the last uh, video in this lecture. Okay. So for finding the time constant, here we had V. So what we will do? We will just show circuit this input, right? This is shorted, right? Now this is shorted. Now taking the example A first. So this is your circuit now. R. R. N. C. Okay. Now, since the circuit is now input is short circuited, forget about P naught. Now, your task is to reduce the resistance and capacitance. Now, you can make these two resistance in one resistance, right? This can be reduced to R by 2, right? So, your circuit can be reduced to something like this. Right. So there is only one storing element that is one capacitance. So your time period would be RC by 2. Only one time period and that means it is first order circuit. Okay. Similarly, in these conditions, this RR will come in parallel. So it would be reduced. So your time constant would be RC by 2. Right. In this condition, this CC will come in parallel and this one R. So in this condition, this is R, this is C, and this is also C. So you may say there are two storing elements, there are two capacitance, C and C. So it would be second order. No, it won't be second order. This C and C can be replaced by one capacitance as well, right? This is R, and this C and C will be 2C. Okay. So there is only one storing element. By reducing it, we can see there is only one storing element that is 2C. So your time period would be 2RC. Time constant would be 2RC. So here your time constant would be 2RC. And this case as well, this C and C would become 2C. Your time constant would be 2RC as well. Okay. So these are your time constants. And this is also RC by 2. Okay. So I hope I hope you have understood the concept of time constant here. Now let us take like one more example that we will see in future. So just to get a better understanding of time constant this is r this is c this is r and this is c now now you you tell what is the what is the time constant of the circuit or what is the order of the circuit now this is second order why so if you are short circuiting with the input now this combination will become something like this r c r and c now the thing is you can't reduce the capacitance here. Okay. This C and this C can't come in parallel. Neither it can come in series. So it is second order circuit. Okay. Do you understand this concept? It is second order circuit. Okay. We will deal the second order circuit in future videos. Okay. So just to get a better understanding of time constant. Okay. Thank you.